market little change for the year. Treasuries are offering little return and making your money work uh, for you is harder than ever before. But a new trend is making waves that could have investors looking to tap America's real estate market in the hunt for yield. Talking about crowdfunding. Joanna Schwartz is the co-founder and CEO of Early Shares and Property.com, a website that helps investors ride their real estate crowdfunding wave. All right. Put this, Joanna, in the simplest terms. What exactly is going on here? Well, this is just an incredible trend. Thanks so much for having me. I love talking about it. Um, real estate has really emerged as the fourth asset class, you know, stocks, bonds, cash, and now real estate. Institutional investors know it. High net worth individuals know it. And now everyday Americans can also participate in that trend. Um, it was kicked off by new regulations in the Jobs Act uh, that went into effect in late 2013. And uh, w so what was really a nascent industry is expected to be two and a half billion dollars this year and projected to actually be $250 billion by 2020. All right, so really so, a generational shift in investing in commercial real estate. All right, so are you, are you seeing serious demand for this? I mean, people are a little bit fed up with the zero interest rate environment. Your money's not making any money when it's sitting in the bank. I mean, you're generating some serious interest. Absolutely. We are, as well as our other, uh, other platforms in the industry. There's been a, a huge proliferation of companies uh, riding this trend, and investors are coming along with it. All right. We're well, hopefully I've got a couple of guys, Joanna, that are going to challenge you on hey, this Hey, year. Joanna, I get the point yeah, about the sure. fourth uh, asset class, which is great. It's kind of like the fifth beetle or whatever. But, you know, here's the thing. <laughs> do, do, do investors, though, I mean, you talked about stocks and bonds, which, let's face it, have gone boom bust in the past. Do these investors now, as it's going to mainstream America, do they understand that there's risks here, just like there is with stocks and bonds, what they're trying to get away from? Sure, absolutely. I think it's important to note right now the, the regulations that are in effect are mostly catering towards accredited investors. So our platform right mm -hmm. now is only open to accredited investors, and those are considered sophisticated investors. Um, all of the due diligence materials that people would normally review and evaluate prior to making a private investment are all available for these individuals prior to making the investment. Um, mm -hmm. So, yes, they do understand. Now, Regulation A, which is going just Wait, hold on, Joanna. I want to cut you off because I just want to get one more yeah. thing in here. I just want to ask sure. you, why would I want to do this rather than buy a REIT, a real estate investment trust? Well, it, this is a perfect solution if you want to be more directly involved. Um, the fees are, tr are much lower and it is a more direct impact. So if you're buying a REIT, you're going through several layers of intermediaries and paying many fees along the way. All right. Um, if you come, to, you made if your you come to our platform, you're going direct. Yes, thank you. All right, Joanna <laughs> Schwartz, uh, we didn't give you that much time, but you really made your case and uh, it's an interesting trend that a lot of people are noticing. I'll quickly add, though, your biggest investments are to your house, so why do you need more real estate? Period. Period. <laughs> oh, and there you have it. Joanna, thank you. Okay, thank you.